Hi everyone, Deb here. I am here with the November Potomac Beads Treasure Box. Um, this is one of the two types of um, kit boxes that they have. The other one is called the Kit Box. So I get a little confused because I always want to call it the Treasure Kit, but it's the Treasure Box. And what that means is there's not patterns and things in it. It's like opening a treasure box because you don't know what you're going to get each month. Um, and it usually has a theme. So I've already opened it and gone through it a little bit. This was actually on the outside of the box. So we got a pair of long nose pliers. Um, it says high quality carbon steel. They're like um, chain nose pliers. They are chain nose pliers and they have a long nose. These have ridges on them. Okay, so here we go. It's been a while since I opened this. It came about a week ago and I've just been busy with the craft fair and stuff. So I didn't, I didn't really write on it at all. So let's write on here that this is November and it is called Twilight Bloom. Okay, Twilight Bloom. Usher in the charm of a blossoming twilight garden to your jewelry creations with the soft blush of gentle pinks, regal and elegant violets, and an infusion of vibrant rose that ignites feelings of passion and vitality. Wield this palette of slender dagger beads. We got dagger beads last month. Hmm. Reminiscent of flower petals. So maybe they're shaped a little different. I don't know. Lucky ladybugs, that's interesting, and elegant pearls to create jewelry perfect for a moonlit stroll. Alrighty, so let's see. We get Potomac Crystal Bicones 4mm. Mine are in light rose. Um, very sparkly, I'm not going to take them out. There's usually 60, 60 in the package. And um, it doesn't say two packages, so I'm going to just put light rose and 60. Gemstone barrel beads. That's interesting. I don't think that's those. Okay, they're in jet, so I don't know what gemstone these are. Um, let's see. I think there actually is a gemstone called jet, but usually it's associated with the color. Uh, might be like an agate, black agate, or um, possibly obsidian. I'm not sure. It has some white in it. I'm thinking it's a maybe a black agate. That one, ha that one has a dent. It's kind of crumpled up. So yeah, I don't know how many is here. I'll count them later, but you get quite a few. So that is the gemstone, gemstone barrel beads. Oopsie, one's trying to get away. <laughs> Luckily it didn't go, oof. well, I just was jinxing myself because I was saying that one didn't go on the floor and then another one did. I'll have to find it later. Okay, then we get um, Potomac Pearls. They're usually on a strand. Yeah. Okay, we get the color Rose Gold 3 millimeter. Rose Gold. And this is what they look like, a whole strand, like a 15 or 16 inch strand. So there's probably about 100 on there. Maybe more, approximately. Check glass ladybugs. Hmm. Honestly, don't remember seeing them the la when I first opened it, but I'm sure I did. I just don't. Oh, yeah, here they are. And they're in black, black ladybugs. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I got nine. Okay, and they're double-sided. We I got one of those in uh, October's, I think it was October's, 
bead mix that was in there and I, I have made a couple things with that box. I just haven't gotten it videoed and I have something else still on my table being worked on. Check glass leaf drop beads. Uh, that's not these. That's not those either. These are the daggers. Mm, okay. Okay, these are in like a, well, I don't know, smoky topaz or green? I guess they're sort of a cross, be they're, they're like a light green to me, clear with light green or olive green on them. And they are drilled across the top, top drilled. Not my favorite style. I just, you have to wire wrap them or use thread. Um, maybe I'll use thread with those. I don't know. Um, I haven't been too much into the bead weaving aspect, so I'm not sure if I'll use those. Um, check glass butterfly beads. Butterfly beads. Oh, two. Now, I got two shaped like this in last month's box, too, but they were like red, blue, and white or white with blue and red or blue and orange stripes these however are like a a white with a pink stripe yeah very shiny i don't know if you can see the pink and they're drilled i think side to side they're drilled through the side so if you wanted to use them for earrings you'd again have to wire wrap or something I probably won't do that. I'll probably make bracelets or something with them. I don't know. A bracelet or bracelets. Um, check glass filigree teardrops. I saw them. Where'd they go? Here. Now these are interesting. Pink and purple mix I got. And um, I got two purple and four pink. And they are drilled through the center top to bottom. I like the purple ones actually. They're more um, almost like a metallic y purple. And then the pink are more translucent. They're interesting though. They have that dotted, they're sort of puffy in the middle with dotted design around. I do like those a lot. I will be using those for sure. Okay, and check last dagger beads. I saw them somewhere. Da, 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 da. Here they are. And it says assorted. It doesn't have a color, but they're like a purpley pink also. Purples and pinks. So they're like, oh, assorted sizes too. Hmm. Interesting. See, I got some really tiny little ones. I got about four of those, and then some of the longer, sort of dark purpley, and some of the longer clear with like a pink or a purple in it. That's interesting. Oh, there's another one of those. You know, guys, I actually have so many daggers. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm still working on something using last month, so I'm not sure these will come into play for me this month. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'm sorry if I sound a little <laughs> negative, but I'm just, um, I kind of lost my mojo a little bit, and I've been busy with other stuff lately, so I apologize. Hook and eye clasps. Yes, I did see those. These are in antique brass plating. 19 by eight and a half millimeter and a pack of two. I'll definitely use these. I actually like hook and eye class and they're more secure than what you think. Okay, and the loop they hook on to is like an infinity loop. So you'd hook one side in and then this side hooks onto your piece as does this end here. And uh, yeah, they're pretty sturdy. Um, not real bendy or anything, which is nice. I like those. And I will use them for sure. Hammered rings, 20 millimeter. I always like getting stuff like that. Oh yeah, these 
these look like it says premium antique brass plated pack of two 20 millimeter these are in the antique brass plated something plated something I like those a lot so those and this will definitely go into some kind of piece <laughs> all right Mayuki seed beads 8 -oh. there's a whole tube of 8 -oh Mayuki seed beads and these are in the color door coat galvanized uh, that's all it says it, it's like a purple though a metallic -y purple door coat galvanized the number on them is 71609 so they might be on the website I'm going to actually look them up because I want to know what the full color is called it does look like a door coat galvanized purple or lilac or something I don't know check glass cup beads now we got cup beads we got I think two last month these are topaz light apricot full they don't seem to go with most of the rest of the the kit the ones we got last month were like a um, purpley I forget what they called it but it was more purple maybe I'll use those with this kit because this has a lot of purple in it too but um, in topaz yeah, I don't know I'm trying I keep wanting to use some of these but I, we got five of them this time so that's quite a bit they're a pretty color I really love the color and they're sort of um, coated or textured on the inside and then the back some of them have like a purpley color to them on the back whoops and around the rim but otherwise they're topazy apricotty can you see that doesn't that look like it has purpley on it? Yeah, anyway. Apricot full. Topaz light apricot full cup buttons. Different. Very different. I like them. Okay, check glass facet rounds. 18 millimeter. These puppies are huge. Well, they're not puppies, but you know. <laughs> these are huge, and they have some weight to them. So, uh, in my opinion, these would have to be like a single focal or something um, and they would go really pretty with these seed beads so they're called lilac purple 18 millimeter no barcode available faceted beads they are did they say check glass yeah check glass faceted rounds 18 millimeter and they're sort of um, part translucent and part like a metallic finish on them half and half sort of thing disco balls for sure right that would have to be a focal for me but they definitely would go with that and maybe with this or these and definitely would go like with these pink light rose a b things too okay check glass heart beads we're coming into after the holidays we're coming in and they're purple um we're at least mine are we're coming into valentine's after you know christmas and new year's and stuff all right these are drilled front to back here and here the holes are pretty small you either need to do um thread again with seed beads on it or something to make a bale or possibly a pinch bale or a very thin uh, wire or very thin jump ring um, and it has to be a larger jump ring because there's quite a bit of space between the hole and the top so your jump ring would need to be wide enough to probably like a 9 or 10 millimeter would have to be used so I'm thinking jump ring is not the best option with those wire or uh, th beaded thread but they match they're good for earrings or whatever okay check glass twisted nugget beads these are interesting they're in picasso red which honestly looks kind of brown to me let me show you this is called picasso red so i guess they're like a red with where did that just go oh here they have a hint of red but they have a lot more brown on them from the picasso finish and they are twisted oh they're cool the hole goes through 
the center as opposed to going this way. That's interesting. So if you put a bead next to it, it would be here. They'll add a lot of nice texture to whatever piece is put they're put in. Pretty cool. Now I don't know if everyone got the same colors. I haven't watched. Well, I'm doing this before we're supposed to air it anyway. I don't know um, if uh, anyone got the same colors or what. Okay, this is Check Glass Nuggets in Frosted Lila for me, and they're called Check Glass Rough Nugget Rondelles. Wow, I don't know if I'd call them a rondelle. They're sort of like those other ones I just showed you, the twist beads. I don't know if I'd call these a are these? Maybe these aren't the rondelles. No, they're rough nuggets. Rough nugget rondelles. I guess because the hole goes this way again, it's going to sit like that in your piece or um, like this. I might use them for earrings. There's something different. I don't know. There's only two. We got a whole thing of stretch string. I think we got stretch string once before this year. Uh, it's 0.8 millimeter, which I like. Um, as far as stretch string goes. I don't use it that often. And then the last thing is, uh, I don't know what this is. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. What are they calling these? Twisted, maybe these are the twisted, no? Uh, I don't see these on the list, but these are like, um, Double, double bicone, There's, they have a flattish part in the middle, and then they're, um, you know, like a, it's not shiny in the middle, and then it has little ridges, two ridges on either side, double bicone, and they're sort of in a, I don't know, like a topaz with a lilac on top or something, or a topaz with light blue on top, they're different different color. They would probably go with these. Eh, I don't know. They would go with this. These leaves. Sort of with the pearls. Maybe with the black. I don't know. I'll, I'll play around with things and see. I might, I might pull in stuff from previous boxes to use with, with these. Oh, they go with these Picasso red things too, but I don't know that I'd use them with that. Anyway, I got a whole strand of these, they're like etched bicone beads. They're definitely check glass. I'm probably just not seeing them. Um, cuff buttons, faceted around, check glass, maybe, hmm. Yeah, these, maybe these are check glass rondelles? I don't know. I don't, I don't see them on here. So maybe they just threw in an extra strand. I'm not sure everyone, but that is my Twilight Bloom Potomac Beads treasure box for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see what I can do to get at least one or two things made with this box this month. And um, as soon as I finish up last month, then I have some things for a different type of box I'm working on too. All right. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe and help my channel. I really like to get to 1,000 subscribers some year. I think last I looked, I was at 900 or 902 or something like that. So thank you for that. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Hugs, love, and peace.